what's up you guys what up y'all blessings blessings i just want to show you guys something i mean you know we're going through this this hurricane called ian and as you should see you got so many it's just sad i can't get on the road now normally the highways are empty you guys because I'm on this road, they had that down at that end. I normally will come out on that end, but I, I, I changed my route just to see something, right? And look. This shit is sad, like, so sad. These people out here and that whole hurricane is going on. I have a safe dump. If I have a scene dump. Look, this car just jumped up on my back. Gang stalking in a fucking hurricane, you guys. This is the shit you go through as a targeted individual. Rain, sleet, snow, hurricane, or tornado, you're going to get gang stalked. You're going to get gang stalked, okay? Let them pass me. Let them go ahead. I guess this is the trend now. When the rain, wet ground, next thing you know, you see these bitches on their back. They, they car turned over. Why? Because they want to be idiots. You're legally passing me with a double line to go nowhere. Okay? Going through Hurricane Ian, you guys. I know you guys seen it on the news as well as everybody talking about it on social media and stuff y'all i'm in florence south carolina we are dealing with a hurricane right and i'm only driving because i've stayed at my client's house you guys she didn't want to stay alone it's just her so i stayed i went and i brought my dogs with me and i stayed there and i did my shift today and i'm now getting off and i'm on my way home you know praying that i could make you know get home without no down trees or stuff This is the day in cotton picking. Look at this. These people wouldn't be out if I wasn't out. I'm trying to tell y'all some real stuff. They will not be out during a hurricane. Look how the wind up pushed all of the doggone stuff to the side, y'all. These people wouldn't have been out if it wasn't um, if I wasn't out here. This road would have been quiet because everybody they shut down the schools, they shut down jobs, everything. Okay. So right now, what you're seeing are gang stalkers only on the road. A lot of them main on the road. Why? Because. A lot of them are elders and stuff, probably scared as hell, you know? But yeah, these are gang stalkers riding. In my, in my, while I'm, you know, in, in the same, whether they coming or going, they're in my, they're in travels with me. Okay, like I said, I done been through hurricanes down here already. When it's a hurricane and shit like that, these highways and stuff is empty. You understand? Because people are so afraid. People are so afraid. So I don't know. This I, I'm, this is just some this this shit right here, y'all. I just don't understand. I just look at these demons very different now. I can't get them too much energy no more because instead of them trying to get right with the Most High, this place could have been destroyed. You understand? Like Fort Myers in Florida. You understand that place looked desolate. These motherfuckers got time to still gang stalking instead of somewhere on their knees praying and asking the Most High for forgiveness. Okay, you can tell. See, I tell you, it looks like a. It looks very empty because nobody's normally out here. Okay. Empty, y'all. I'm showing you guys. Everything that's out here moving now is working. I'm trying to tell you. Everything that's out here now is working. And this car going to come behind me because this is what they do. This is sick, y'all. See? Businesses is closed. This is Dollar General. Where that fucker going? gang stalking all of this is nothing more than gang stalking you guys i just wanted to show y'all but this is florence south carolina we are um going through the little hurricane but it's not bad it done slow you know it done calm down but you guys see ian can't even hold these sacks of shit in when it comes to satan telling these dummies to come out here and and gang stalk community-based harass a, a individual you understand like this shit is beyond me, y'all. I'm just showing you guys. Y'all might not get no more videos from me unless it's just absolutely necessary to record something. But looking at these dummies, watching how they moving, not even giving a fuck about life. Like, 
no, I'm good. I'm done. Like, I'm done. I look at these gang stalkers a whole different way now because these motherfuckers is past um, sleep. They are past it. These motherfuckers don't care about their own salvation, okay? They out here in a hurricane. And the only reason I'm out here, y'all, like I said, I stayed with my client last night only because my client was afraid to stay and asked me, okay? I worked my shift and I came home. I'm on my way home from work, okay? She didn't want me to leave, but I'm ready to go home and, you know, do my own thing, okay? And then just check out what's going on in my neck of the woods, you know? But these are all gang stalkers. They sit at the gas station. I, watch, I'm going to turn into the gas station. I bet you majority of them... Look, he got his, his thing down. I bet you majority of them just sitting at pumps. I'm just going to show y'all something. I'm not even going to get out. But I just want to show you guys something. All of these people are sitting at the pumps. All of them. Watch. I'm going to show you. I should be taking my black butt right straight to the house, right? But I just need to sh I just need to show you guys something. I just need to show y'all. You see that? He's sitting in the car. They, they, these people, yo, I'm telling you, I look at them a toy. I, I look at them so different now, it don't make no damn sense. It don't make none. During Ian Hurricane, and that's gonna be the title of this video. Satan flunkies. Gang stalking through during the hurricane Ian in Florence, South Carolina. Okay? That's what the title gonna be. Okay? This shit crazy. But like I said, they won't get no more, they won't get too much energy from me no more. Anytime y'all bitches out here damn near sacrificing yourself to gang stalk me. Like <laughs> it is just sad and I'm over it. Like I know what it is now. Y'all are a bunch of hive minded sacks of shit. I just so thank God the highway ain't got no trees down. Ain't no floods. I can go home. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Heavenly Father. I love you. Yeah, I got tired of looking at the, um, listening to this dog on everything that's going on with this storm. I got tired of it. It's the first time I kind of paid attention to a storm much. There have been a, a few hurricanes since I'm down here. But this is the, I, my son, you know, is in, is in Florida. So this one, I had to pay close attention to, like, you know, I had to. But I ain't worried about it because I felt like maybe this is going, the most high going to bring judgment on a lot of these dummies. Man, that's something I, that that's too good for them. dummy. That's a good word. That's too nice for them. There was a little bit of water there, like a little pond, y'all. And this ditch is full. I slow up. Let me just slow up so I can show y'all. Let me let me back out of it a little bit so y'all can see. There's a little man. Ain't do nothing bad here. Thank you, Lord. I am so thankful. I'm another gang stalker, though. That's another gang stalker. Say everybody is at home, y'all. Let me turn off my home. Let y'all see. This is another gang stalker, y'all. Yo, I'm about to end this. I just wanted to show you guys what goes down, to even during hurricanes, when it comes to gang stalking. Yeah. Oh, goodness. All that stuff on the ground from that tree. I know my yard probably tore up. This bold bitch right here walking with this blue umbrella. She got came out her yard into my yard and cut the side of her fence that's in my yard. Um, and she cuckoo as a goddamn bed bug. But this is her fence and stuff, you guys. She came outside of her yard and went and did a strip across my yard and burnt up the grass. Like, so I had to go to her and listen, y'all. Listen to me well. I went to her, but I was recording, right? to tell this bitch don't come back in my yard they broke they bust my windows out on my my jeep the truck i had a few years back with the with the um what you call them things um weed eaters i think that's the name of them 
weed eaters. So they, they, where her truck is parked at, it's like, you know how rocks be on the train tracks? They put rocks there, I guess. Uh, she got rocks there. So they, her son came out. I used to park one where my back door at. And he came out weed eating and one of them pebbles hit my damn window and shattered it. So when I saw that shit, I, I told them not to come in my yard no more after that. So when I saw that, them cutting a the strip of my damn grass, taking my dogs to use the bathroom, I walked to her and I'm like, hey, yo, let me just make myself clear one more time. I need you to stay out my yard. Don't come in my yard cutting no damn alongside of your gate, um, cutting my grass just one in if you want to cut if you're going to cut it cut the whole goddamn thing and i won't have a problem but you're not going to just come in and cut a strip this bitch so goddamn cuckoo for cocoa puffs y'all and she, mm. now she wait till i come home and have to come outside to the mailbox you hear me i've been gone since yesterday i'm just coming home but this is all a part of they dumbass um synchronicity whatever you call that word y'all synchronizing however but i told her do not go but let me tell you what somebody did to my phone as i record now i only push record coming out my house i had a recording as i walked over to her truck because she was just pulled up and i was sitting in my car so i walked over to her truck as she was getting out and i told her i said listen cameron let me just make myself clear one more time do not come in my yard so she's gonna say well you know that's that, that part I cut is mine, which she's a bold-faced lie, and I told her, that's to use a motherfucking lie, and I'm telling you now, and I'm recording this, so if you come back in my yard, I'm telling you, it's going to be a problem, period. So she was like, okay, Monique, calling me by my name, right? Okay, Monique. Now, granted, I ain't never talked to this, we never been friends since I purchased my house in the early 2000s, right? Um, she never liked me, never. I never did her nothing, and I didn't know nothing about gang stalking back then, Okay. Um, but however, um, I recorded, I hit record going to her vehicle coming down my steps and then I hit in going back up my steps. And when I was, went to view the video, I had two videos where somebody spliced out what I said to her and, 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 and gave me two videos versus the one video. So I called Apple and informed them what's going on with my phone. They said that's weird that I might need to contact the police. I even told them I'm being gang stalked and the police is involved, okay? It's just weird as shit, y'all, but I'm over this gang stalking shit. Why? Because I'm talking about, y'all seen the news, y'all heard about the Hurricane Ian. These motherfuckers is gang stalking while Ian is taking place, okay? So yeah, I'm about to um, end this video, y'all. Y'all be blessed, y'all be safe, and y'all stay woke, okay? Peace and blessings.